Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Zanny Cakes, and this is my first video in a new series that I'm going to be doing called the Zanny Cakes Gaming Guides. I'm going to be looking at different resources in the Path of Diablo community and making short little guides on how to use them. This video is about the trade site. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and check back. My next video in this series will be about the Path of Diablo economy and how to figure out rune values, what the trade values are for things like Orbs of Corruption and Perfect Skulls. So with that, let's get into the trade site. So let's say that you just found a Paladin Combat Skill Grand Charm with 25 life on it and you want to know how much it's worth. So to price check your own items, you come here to the trade site list, look for the search trades box, and then here is your keyword box that you can search for. You do not have to actually select a word from this list. You can just type in... Um, Keywords such as charm, since we're looking for a paladin skills grand charm, we need the word charm in there. Hit enter. That way, your key term is charm. Go to paladin combat or combat skills paladin only. And then we want to add in life. greater than or equal to 20 add property life less than or equal to 30 so this shows us all of the paladin combat skill grand charms with 20 to 30 life on them you can then look through and see what people are asking for similar charms of in that range. And that way you can get an accurate price on what your charm is actually worth. So you can expect to get anywhere from an ohm rune up to a low rune. So 0.75 to 1.5 anywhere in that range would be a fairly acceptable price range for your grand charm. So to post an item, we go to the list trades button right here on the top left hand side of the screen and it will bring up the account that you're currently logged into. So I personally keep a mule that has all of my items that I keep on the trade site. So I know that they're all in one character. I don't have to search from mule to mule to find what I have posted on the trade site. And as you can see up here, anything that has the black little flag icon thing is something that is available for trade to put something else on the trade site you simply click on the item and then type in what you want so for this i will say that i am taking offers 12 high runes plus so that i want at least 12 high runes for this and since it is a fairly rare item that several people might be interested in, I will take offers on it. Normally, I would recommend putting a specific value for your item. For example, with the Paladin Skill Grand Charm, I wouldn't say I would not recommend listing that for offer. You want to list that for a specific value. That way, your customer knows what it, what you want from it, and you don't have to waste each other's time playing tag through the message system, trying to figure out a good deal. You simply message them with their offer and you're good to go. So once we have what we want for our trade, we simply click list for trade. And you can see we got our little flag icon and people can actually see that come up on the trade when they are searching for things like three socketed Griffin's eyes.
So let's say that I changed my mind and I don't want to post any of these shape-shifting grand charms anymore because I want to respect my druid to shockwave. So for me to delete a posted item, you go to the top right-hand corner, it will say signed in as your account name, click on my account, and then it will show you everything that you have available for trade. And to take them off, you just click on the delete button. So I want to take off all of the spiritual grand charms because I'm going to go make a shockwave druid. So that way you can also do this if you trade something and I'm sure you have all had the experience where you trade something and people are still messaging you a day later wondering if you still have the item. You can go on here and manually delete that posting and it will no longer pop up in people's searches. To search for maps, you use the keyword unused. Maps are not in the trade site at all. So you type in unused and hit search and it will bring up all of the map relics that are posted for trade. Unfortunately, they all come up as unused. It does not say which map they are, whether it's a pleasant, pleasant pasture or a burnt forest, ruined citadel. It just is simply titled unused. It also does not tell you what the experience bonus or density is on the relic. It just has the modifiers on the relic itself. So when you post maps for sale, post the map itself, what it is, the EXP and density, and then what you want for it. You can see here that this one is a cow that is a 26 384 density with the 200 magic find mod and they want a job rune. Whereas this one here, you have no idea what this one is. It's just posted as a mal. You don't know if that's a cow level or a frigid plateau or what the density is. So that one will likely not sell. So one thing to keep in mind when posting trades is the most recent posts appear on the top of the list when somebody does a search. So if you come on, you can see that this was posted an hour ago, four hours ago, seven hours ago, eight and so on. So a good thing to do is when you are logging on for the evening, repost all of your trades that way they appear at the top of the list and then you are more likely that people will actually see them and you will be able to successfully trade for those items on the flip side of that coin it is not a good idea to post everything before you log off for the end of the night as it will just post everything it'll be the newest thing on the list so people will be trying to contact you for trading and if you're logged off for the rest of the night, then chances are they will move on and find one posted by somebody else before you log back in the next day. My next tip would be to post things for a specific value. So instead of posting a combat skill grand charm as offer, post it for one high rune or 1.25 high runes or whatever it is that you're actually looking for. On common items like that, people don't want to waste the time to go back and forth with messaging to try and negotiate. It is much better to just post what you want for the item itself. That way people will message you directly. It's quick, it's fast, and you both can go on your separate ways. My last tip for trading would be try to be patient. If you're patient, you can recheck the lists on things several times throughout the day and often you can find a very good price when most of the other things are a little bit higher than what they should be one good example of that would be the paladin combat skill grand charms that we looked at earlier there was one posted for an ohm rune everything else was between 1 and 1.5 so if you are able to get that paladin combat skiller for an ohm rune it can really 
provide you a lot of value for your account in the long run. So check back tomorrow for my guide on the Path of Diablo economy, where I'll go over how high rune values are established, how many orbs of corruption you can get for a Vex rune, how many perfect skulls you can get for a single orb of corruption, and just go over how the economy itself actually works. So give me a like and subscribe. As always, good luck, have fun, and I hope to see you out there.